How you doing, small group leaders? Hope you're doing well. And what an awesome Sunday we had with the donut wall, with small group promotion. It was incredible. And we're getting ready to launch on the 30th. And so what I wanted to do is give us one tool that's gonna be huge for our small group, and it's this, discovery. We need to be discovering people for our small groups. And we see this all the time, but man, it bears witness um, every time as well, is that a personal invite will always be a, a platform announcement. And what that means is that, man, like as a church, we're gonna promote, we're gonna um, market. I mean, we're gonna put vision towards um, our, our uh, small groups, but it's our responsibility as small group leaders to ask, to invite, to make it personable. Um, this is something very special when you invite someone to your small group, people feel really cared for in that way. And so how do we discover? I know that can be intimidating, that can be scary, like, how do I do this? So I wanna give us three tools for us to discover for a small group, all right? The first one is this, we need to pray. And I know that goes without saying, I know it's cliche, but it's so true. We don't want prayer to be our last resort, we want it to be our first response. So let's pray. Jesus said in Matthew chapter nine, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. The people that are gonna be in your small group, they're already in our church, they're already in your sphere of influence, we just need to pray and ask the Lord and um, invite him into the process, all right? Let's pray one. Number two, let's be intentional. And what that means is, is that who are the people that you're really gonna go after for your small group? And we know that everyone is um, welcome and open to our small groups, but who are you wanting to invest in? I know for Lauren and I, we're looking for people who are new, that are not connected uh, to a small group, and we're looking for the people that can give them their first amazing small group experience. So who are you trying to be intentional with? Younger people, older people, men, women, like who are you being intentional with? And then the third thing is make the ask. And I think that's where a lot of us you know, stumble and like, oh, I'm not sure, it's a little nerve wracking. And here's the thing, we wanna ask not towards need, we wanna ask towards vision. Here's an example. Um, asking with a need is, you know, I have this small group and um, I think it's gonna go really well and just, I really need some people and you're gonna be my third one, the second person's my mom and I just, I need one more person for my small group. People don't really wanna be part of something when it's a need base but they do want to be part of something that's vision-based. Or vision-based with something to be like, man, I was in a small group last semester and God did this in my life, God did this in my life, and it's transformed my life. I think that God wants to do something new in your life too. Man, come come join my small group or come join this small group. And do you feel the difference? Um, it's a lot uh, less heavier and there's an excitement in the air. And just remember, you can't force anyone to um, be part of a small group. You really just ask them towards vision and making the invitation possible. So who are those that you can make an ask to? One, man, look at your sphere of influence. Look at your friends, look at your family. Who are the people that God has placed in your life that you can make the ask to? Uh, number two is you can ask people who are on your team. Um, if they aren't already leading a, a small group, who are the people on your team right now that you can ask and invite? That's a pull right there that's easy to pull from. And last but not least, let's ask new people. Um, as we're engaging people on Sunday mornings, man, people are wanting to uh, get involved every single week. They just want to be asked. So man, be bold, be courageous, make conversation, and make that ask. And you never know who is one invite away. You never know. So make the ask, make it with vision, be intentional. Let's be prayerful. As you can tell, there's stuff happening around me, but we're flexible on the journey. All right? Love you guys. Have a great week.